I bet with Internet only. They're a fantastic site. I've never had any issues with them. They are very professional. There's never a problem. You deposit money, two seconds later it's in your account. You withdraw, which I do very occasionally. And uh, I believe it's also two seconds it's in your account. Race number seven will leave us with two races left on the program, races seven and eight. So if you are ahead at this stage of the game, you'll be playing for free going into the final two races on the card at Hollywood Bet Scottsville. So for race number seven, let's take in the interviews with Alison Wright and the Peter Musket team, and hopefully they'll guide you into the winner's box. Butu has got to be the most frustrating horse uh, we've ever trained. At home he works like he's a July horse and come race day he can be a bit disappointing. Last time out the 2000 he was cruising and just didn't go on with it. So I feel the 2000 is probably a bit far for him. Um, we went uh, with the 1400 because he had the draw and down in class. And uh, if he brings his homework uh, he should win. But um, again I think he's a horse that maybe prefers the poly but uh, you never know what he's going to bring on race day. Um, but hoping for a, for a good run. Yeah, you got to put a line through that last run. You know, um, Sean eased him up. Um, we had a good look at him. There was nothing we could find with him. So you got to put a line through that run. Um, his work has been really good in the lead up. 1400, probably a touch on the sharp side for him, but looking for him to recapture some of his earlier form. Well, thanks very much to the conditioners for the respective comments. And after listening to Alison Wright, he could be a Jalal horse, number one, Ibuto, the work that he shows back home. And I've got to be on the same page with him. He's like one of those 3,000-piece puzzles. You don't know where to start, and you don't know when you're going to end, and you're not sure where to go. However, at 6-1, to one, he could just be the value. He's the class horse in the race. You've heard from Alison. He can work like a steam train back home. Against him is that he's probably better on the poly track, which his record clearly suggests. He's a three-time winner, of which none of those wins have come on the turf. In fact, he's had six runs on the turf for only one third placing. I have to agree with Alison and them. Last time out, the 2000 was a bit far for him with the cheek pieces. Although if you go back in his record earlier, it's going to be a little bit of a 50-50 because he did win over 1,900 meters when beating command control. So you're going to say, why do you say he didn't see out the 2,000 meters? Maybe the cheek pieces. I believe the 1,400 and up to a mile. I think he is going to be most effective. Get some weight off the back. The best of the draw, and he is dropping down in company. If you go back in his form, he's run to Mr. Gonzalez, Cape Eagle, and then last time out, just flattened out behind etiquette. He's going to be a fit horse. He's a lovely, big, smashing individual. He's from the Hollywood Syndicate, Anthony Del Pesh, Owen and Devin Heffer, and the entire team. The son of Duke of Marmalade, I'm going to take a shot in the dark and say, let's go number one, Ibuto, and let's tell him it's the poly track. So we'll whisper in his ear, it's the poly track, and hopefully he forgets what he's running on, and he decides to run on the turf. If he brings his A game, he's got a good a chance of any of winning. So I'm going to go number one, Ibuto, to win. For second, number five, Diani, who brings a strong form line into the race. If you look at his penultimate run when he beat Fiery Duke, there's been a number of winners from that run. He's not a big individual, but he's a horse who's got a lovely athletic action. He covers the ground. Dennis Bosch has left him off the track for 90 days. He's a three-year-old who is climbing the ladder. He's reeled off the hat-trick, and he's done it in style. His last victory was really a stylish win. So there's nothing to put him down from going four from four, and a lot of punters will be going with number five, Diani. So let's go with him, Keegan Mello for our second selection, and Ibuto and Diani. They'll be the two horses looking to fight it out for my money. Throw in number three, Count Marsh, and then you've got seven, Els, my daddy, and number eight, Master of Law. But let's take take a chance you know racing's all about gambling you take a chance you flip a coin and we're going to say 
lane number one, Ibuto, over the 1400 meters. I want to see him use his action. I want to see him striding up there and hopefully he can put the record straight and get the victory on the grass because you heard from Allison and the team. He's a type of horse at home who can blow just about anything away and they've got some good stock back there. So number one, Ibuto. Let's hope he changes the fortune and he wins on the turf. Uh, my name's Danny Diliberto, founder of Ladles of Love. It was founded back in 2014. Communities we, we work with are all over the peninsula and um, we're working with 138 beneficiaries now. We've grown exponentially. Um, we've been able to do that because of all the kindness that we have experienced um, from individuals and corporates such as uh, Interbet who just want to be part of the change. Thank you.